Hey, so I was just kind of making breakfast and making my bulletproof coffee and eating my oatmeal and thinking about diet and uh, nutrition. I'm on the mend. I'm um, recovering from uh, injury and I'm about 85% right now, I'd say. I'm still like gun shy. Um, you know how it goes, but I just did a good set of push-ups, a couple side planks, some stretching, and I couldn't have done that a week ago, so, or five days ago, or two days ago. So I'm, I know I'm good, but I'm just kind of trying to optimize it, you know, I want to, I want to recover fast, I don't want to miss a lot of gym time and, you know, be down or risk re-injuring myself because the longer you're on the mend, the, the higher the likelihood you're going to um, re-injure yourself and before you get back to that kind of optimal state or even stronger. Um, so I was kind of thinking about, you know, what's the best diet and why. And, you know, I do kind of subscribe to the, to the rule of three and I don't know if we kind of naturally group things into threes and we cater it's like subconscious so we're, we're doing it to ourselves like everything has to be three um <laughs> right so like give me three options or we're gonna fight over it but there's some truth to it so I was making my bulletproof coffee and like naturally I go to grab my sacred seven uh, mushroom extract and I'm like just thinking about okay why am I putting a fungus in my in my coffee and the truth of the matter is is our body is made up of bacteria viral and fungal dna primarily um we are the result of a three-way war between um those two those two those three species um and if you have um, a war going on in your body between just two um, a virus and a bacteria um, without a fungus in there you generally get sick so we call the the fungus an immunomodulator and it stands to reason you know that they have um, they use sometimes viruses uh, to uh, attack infections and um, I believe they're called bacteriophages or something along those lines. And there's other things that kind of support this, but I, I believe, you know, again, I'm not a scientist per se, but um, at least a classically trained one. Um, but I do believe it's fairly well understood that those three um, microorganisms work in harmony in our body and if they weren't all three then we would be sick all the time and our immune system um, would essentially be attacking itself and what we call our immune system we would then call an infection um, because our uh, microbiome would be terribly out of balance and that could also be a cancer but whatever uh, the the thing how that interplays with diet and what I was thinking about it was like, all right, so we got this kind of um, microbiome um, trinity thing going on. But we also have this like um, macronutrient trinity thing going on and uh, with fat, carbohydrates and sugar. I'm sorry, <laughs> I said fat, carbohydrates and protein. Um, amino acids I said sugar that's probably the sad truth of it but <laughs> certainly not not the macronutrient um the macro poison maybe but not the macronutrient um so the 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 trinity is is repeating and then I kind of spun off on kind of my own mental thing it's like well is it really like are we attaching labels to all these different things and putting them in the same groups because we need things to be one two three one two three or um like is there something in our biology that just makes us want three 
options or three things to work together. Um, but you know, the, it's just when you, when you only have two, you're done, you're done, you're done. There's no, there's no coming back from two. So that's, that's where I was at this morning, just making breakfast and thinking of the importance of three and then thinking of, am I crazy for, um, thinking that three is important or is it all in my head? But the macronutrient thing is true. I mean, you look at people who do this like mono, I'm only eating fat, I'm only, I'm, I'm only eating protein or, you know, what I'm never eating protein. Like, it doesn't seem to work out in the long run. Just as a casual observer, you know, I'm not looking at your numbers, but the people who seem to be the healthiest, the oldest, seem to have those three macronutrients um, to varying degrees um, as, as part of their diet. You know, the 33, 33, 33 um, diet is... Uh, is it's pretty time tested by athletes, you know, it is. Uh, but then it's like, are we just crazy for putting things into these groups of threes in the first place? Who knows? But one, two, three, time to go to work. Later, guys.